Kingdom Come Deliverance came out and everybody was happy. Is what a complete delusional would say. Hello, my name is Kavu and today I'm covering the new trailer of Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 and why I think this is very important and very big if you are someone like me who is a big fan of RPG games and you want to play something else other than Skyrim. What is Kingdom Come Deliverance you might ask? Is Skyrim for people who love pain? I want to be honest with you guys, what I'm about to say I want that to stay between you and me. I've never played Kingdom Come Deliverance. <laughs> Before I am going to cover the new game which is coming by the way near Christmas Elder Scrolls 6 guys, it's not coming out anytime soon Anytime I see a good RPG game coming out, I'm excited But let me tell you really quick why I haven't played Kingdom Come Deliverance And also why at the same time I am very hyped for their second game The first Kingdom Come was pretty much a better version of what we are about to get Warhorse, the company behind Kingdom Come did not have enough resources to finish the game. We've got a game with pretty much lacking most of its features, it was a buggy mess, it had performance issues resolving to crash and because the studio was so much in depth and because it was pretty much in sables, they released the game with a triple A price pool. Which all of those things combined, if you pick up all of those Exodia pieces and you unite them all, we're getting Kingdom Come Deliverance 1 which it was a horrible game when it first came out but with patching over the past what 6 years the game has become one of the best RPG games of all time and it's actually on sale right now on Steam for less than 6 bucks which is why I am definitely gonna play Kingdom Come Deliverance 1 so I can introduce myself or prepare myself for the second title. That's pretty much why I haven't played the game because there is many people who say that Kingdom Come is an amazing game. Kingdom Come was not an amazing game, it became an amazing game through a lot of patches that Warhorse went through. So let's talk about the new title. It's gonna have double the size. And I know this sounds rich because we all know the one Lord and Savior, Todd Howard. Four times the size of Fallout 4. So the game is going to be almost double the size, it's going to have way too many new systems, blacksmithing, horsemanship, you will be able to be a houndmaster, use uh, some sort of guns, crossbows, more weapons, it's gonna have pretty much more of everything. I believe Kingdom Come Deliverance is a hardcore version of Skyrim or Oblivion. The studio started with less than 15 people as they were making the first title they had, few dozens, but now they have over 200 people employees working and you can see the scale of the game this guys is going to be mark my words game of the year because when you see passionate game developers with the budget which they didn't have in the first game and a good working idea that is kingdom come delivers this game is 100% going to be game of the year and i'm very excited to cover this game until it comes out the devs said that they will try to make the game more appealing for a broader audience so i'm assuming we're going to see the second game doing what Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 did to the Fallout series or what Skyrim did to Oblivion and Morrowind where they are breaking the combat to be slightly more simplistic but at the same time as they're saying to be very challenging so more people can play and enjoy the game. I don't know what to say about that because I haven't played still as I'm making this video the first one. I'm gonna sit and play it on the next weekend. Another important thing that I need to talk about that I hear nobody talking about is that Kingdom Come Deliverance both the first game and the second game is going to have the main character who is Henry <laughs> Now you might ask yourself, Kavu, isn't the point of an RPG game to play as whoever you want to be? So you having a main character with his story, his own lore, doesn't that take away from the experience? And to that, I'm going to answer to you with one word, Fallout 4. Kingdom Come Deliverance is doing exactly what Fallout 4 is doing, but in a good way. You can play as Henry in Kingdom Come Deliverance, you have this relatable character that has a very rich history a nice background and they give you the tools as 
especially the second game to be whoever you want to be. You want to be a bandit, you want to be a knight, you can be whoever you want to be. And that builds up to the RPG elements of the game, which Kingdom Come Deliverance is very known to have a lot of those, which is the second reason I want to talk about this. I have been playing Fallout New Vegas a lot, and that's because I love RPG elements, I love character progression, dialogues that put thoughts in your head, I just love a good RPG game overall. The devs, they've built a similar karma system like the Fallout games, they call it crime system, so imagine that anything you do in the world is going to have consequences, you stealing, killing people, being a good guy, you will have NPCs having different dialogues and comments, they are using some of the features from Red Dead Redemption when it comes to dialogues with NPCs, and this is what is amazing because you will never have the same experience and results depending on what role you play. You will have guards accusing you of dead people, residents commenting on your appearance. Here is my most, most favorite thing about this game is that your actions will have consequences. Which is why I love Fallout New Vegas because what Fallout New Vegas does best is teaching you that no matter what action you take, there will be consequences. And sometimes there is not really good or bad, it's just grey and you have to figure that out which is what makes a good RPG. So I really hope we get more explanation from the devs when it comes to this. Any new trailers or news I am going to cover because I'm officially becoming super excited and sold out on the second title. So by closing the video and that was a very short hype type of video, what do you get when you grab the first Kingdom Come Deliverance game and you remove the junk, the bad performance, the graphic issues, the lack of content or some of the RPG elements and you improve all of those negative things and then you make double the size with more of everything, you get Kingdom Come Deliverance too. Let me know what you think and if you are excited about this game and again, I think this is great news. Oh and by the way, when it comes to modding, which is kinda what I like to do in the channel, the devs said that they will 100% support modding, so again, that goes out of the window, it's a W decision. I believe the Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is going to be the next type of Witcher game that is going to conquer the internet, but that's my humble opinion. Thank you for watching this video and sorry if that was a little bit of a random rambling from my part, it's impossible to watch this and not make a video about it, especially when I love those type of games and when I know that we don't get enough of those. Let me know what you think guys, do you like the game, are you excited about it, do you think it's gonna come sooner than maybe Christmas? That being said, it was me Kavu, I'll see you in the next video and until then, happy modding!